church. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, considering the blessing of the Lord. I'm reading to you tonight from Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12 And I'm reading from verses 12 and 13 Here is the almighty God talking to the people And if God came here tonight And I believe God is here tonight He will be saying the same thing to you Here is the almighty God He came to his own people the creatures of his son enslaved by Egypt enslaved by the devil enslaved by the king of this world but he said the time has come for the deliverance and your own time has come somebody there I said your time has come every hole they put you God will dig you out there and bring you up. Every place, the padlock, your mind, your head, your heart, your destiny, that padlock will open tonight. Everything that is dry will become refreshed. The story that you have closed up, you say, there's no way now. Open way, open expressway will come for you tonight. Pharaoh held the people in captivity. And God sent Moses. He said, let my people go. Tonight, somebody there. You will come out of the dungeon. Out of your captivity. Out of that imprisonment. Let my people go. Pharaoh said no. God said yes. Heaven said yes. The angel said yes. The Holy Ghost said yes. The Son of God says yes. And when God says yes, in your life, in your family, in your business, when God says yes, on you right there. No devil can say no. No Pharaoh can say no. If anybody tries to say no, you will see them at the bottom of the Red Sea. And so God said, Moses, the night has come. Somebody there tonight. The night has come. The night of salvation. The night of deliverance. The night of miracles. The, the night of the supernatural. And the night of total unlimited freedom. Power. Somebody shout power. Look at that, Exodus chapter 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both men and beasts. And against all the gods, all the idols, and all the cults of Egypt. And I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Not I was. Not I will be. Ever present I am. And that I am that I am is here tonight. Ready to roll your problems away. Ready to destroy the works of the devil in your life. Ready to set you free. He says, I am the Lord. 
Moses and Ebla. In verse 13, he said, and the blood shall be unto you for a token, for a sign upon the houses wherein ye are. And when I see the blood, and when I see the blood, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Death will pass over you. Sickness will pass over you. Calamity will pass over you. Condemnation will pass over you. Damnation will pass over you. And when I see the blood, the blood of the Lamb, and behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, if the blood of an animal at that time could save to rescue, to deliver millions of people out of Egypt. The Lamb of God Jesus is greater. The blood of Jesus is greater. The blood that has never lost his power. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of our Messiah. And God said, when I see the blood, that's the blood, the blood of Jesus, that will wipe all your sins away. That is the blood, the blood of Jesus, that will give you eternal life. That is the blood, the blood of Jesus, that will take away condemnation, damnation away from you. That is the blood, that will close the gate of hell, so that you will not go to hell. There's no other blood, there's no other way. That is the blood that will open the windows of heaven and shower the blessings down. That is the blood that will open the door of heaven. If you ever hope to get to heaven, if you ever hope to enter him, if you ever hope to get into paradise, and you say that you will live and abide in the house of the Lord forever, there's no other way. It's the way of the blood of Jesus. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And then it says, the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt, Matthew chapter 26, in Matthew chapter 26, we find now this blood, the blood of the Lamb. Matthew chapter 26, verse 28, for this is my blood of the New Testament. This is my blood of the New Covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. This blood will clear all your sins Only away. It is a mutine of heaven. It is this blood that will erase the remembrance of your sin. It is the blood that will give you total recovery. Whatever the sickness, a drop of that blood, the blood coming from Calvary, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the anointed one, the blood of the Lamb of God, it will clear cancer away. It will clear blindness away. There's no other eye drop that can give you clear sight while you are blind. The drop of the blood of Jesus will clear every sin away. I come to talk to you tonight of the unlimited power of his blood. The unlimited power of his blood. Tonight, the blood of Jesus is still actively working. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What will make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Would you be free? Free from your sin? Would you be free? 
totally free from the body you carry. There is wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. Would you over evil the victory win? There's one that walk in power in the blood of the Lamb. If there's anything to set you free tonight, if there's anything to give you forgiveness tonight, if there's anything to give you salvation tonight, if there's anything to give you victory over sin, a victory over sickness, a victory over Satan, it takes the blood of Jesus Christ. The power ultimate power unalterable power unlimited power of his blood and he tells us in Hebrews chapter 9 reading there from verse 22 he says there's no other way for you to have salvation there's no other way for you to have freedom there's no other way for you to have liberation he tells us that this Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 he says almost all things are by the blood purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission there's no redemption without his blood. There's no recovery without his blood. And there is no victory over Satan without his blood. The power in his blood. The authority of that blood. The efficacy of that blood. The impossibility that becomes possible through that blood. Three things before we pray. Tonight. I said tonight. Am I talking to somebody here today? I said tonight. Total victory. I said tonight. Final victory. I said tonight. The things that chased you here will stop and go away from you. One, two, three, that's final. Number one, total redemption for the sinner. There is nothing that works as well as the blood of Jesus. Nothing cleanses like the blood of Jesus. Nothing converts like the blood of Jesus. Nothing gives freedom like the blood of Jesus. The blood of Christ. The blood, Christ. The blood on the cross. The blood at Calvary. It is total redemption. For the sinner, number two, sorrow recovery for the sake. Something to completely sorrow. After the recovery you get today, because I know you will recover. Where are you there? You will recover tonight. That sickness, don't worry about that sickness. When I, once I plead the blood of Jesus on that sickness tonight, you recover immediately. Sorrow, recovery. Complete recovery. Final recovery. Permanent recovery. The miracle you get here tonight will be permanent. You didn't hear that. I said the miracle you get here tonight. The healing you get here tonight. The deliverance you get here tonight will be permanent when I come back another time that miracle will still be in your life anywhere you go miracle anywhere you go anywhere you go where are you I said anywhere you go miracle will say I'm by your side here I am still here you got it on that day Miracle will never leave you. For recovery for the sea. Now, point number three. Truthful rejection of Satan. 
today. All that power of Satan. Everything God will expunge them, take them away, extract them out of your life. And then God will build a wall of fire. So that if that Satan wants to come back, Mr. Satan, no way. I said, no way. Because you are free, I'm free indeed in Jesus' name. Number one. Tell me, number one. Preach it to me. Number one is total redemption for. The sinner. Did you, hear, did you hear what God said? Redemption. He told the children of Israel. He said, Get ready. Get ready. He says, Tonight, I'm bringing you out of the land of captivity. And he said, You will stay inside the door, you will kill the lamb. You will take the blood. You will apply it on the lintels of your house. You, you will apply it on the side post of the house. And then you will take lemon out of your houses. Lemon. That's yeast. It's a symbol of sin. You, you sweep all the leaven out. You take all the sin out. And then you stay inside. Under the cover of the blood of redemption. The blood of salvation. The blood of his cross. And the blood of his power. And the blood of atonement. You will stay under that blood. And the death angel will pass through tonight. Because the soul that sinners it shall die. But when the death angel is passing by. And he sees the blood there. He will know that a lamb has died on your body behalf and has become your substitute and if Jesus becomes your substitute tonight if Jesus becomes your sacrifice tonight if Jesus becomes your savior tonight and you say I accept the blood of Jesus I accept the blood of his redemption I accept the blood he shed for me then judgment will pass over you. There will be no judgment again. Damnation will not come again. Condemnation will not come again. Your name will be taken out of the books of those who are going to hell. You will be transferred and transported to the book of life. Just because of the blood of Jesus. When I see the blood. He didn't say when I see water baptism. Uh -huh. That thing is not strong enough to ward away that messenger of death. He didn't say when I see church membership. Mm. That one is not strong enough. When I see giving money to the beggar, that one is not good enough. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, anybody could have said, I'm the child of Abraham. Ah, that one doesn't work. This angel will kill you, go to hell. I'm the child of the founder of the church. That one doesn't work. I have uh, my membership card in uh, so and so church. That one doesn't work. Papa is praying for me. That one doesn't work. There is a prophet that I'm paying money to and he's praying for me and fasting for me every day. That one will not work. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. My brothers and sisters, is the blood of Jesus tonight. That can save your soul. That can take your sin away. It is the blood of Jesus tonight. That will erase all the condemnation of your life. 
no matter who you are, no matter what you know, no matter what you have done, no matter what you have not done, if the blood of Jesus is not there, you are lost and lost forever. No matter what church you go to, Maybe a higher church, a deeper church, it may be a brother church, a wider church. No matter what church you go to, if the blood of Jesus is not there, you are lost forever and ever. Oh, yeah, more to utter, oh, to and where are you? I could have me a sagon, yes, what that can never be open or send no me for second. No matter your title. And bishop and bishop and pastor and evangelist and worker. If the blood of Jesus Christ has not saved you, you are lost and you go to hell forever. When I see the blood, not when I see your title, when I see your activity, when I see your money. When I see your qualification, when I see your title, he says, no, I'm looking for the blood. Moses, Moses are children. If any of the children of Moses said, I am the son of Moses, the leader of the children of Israel. And so because I am one of the children of Moses, I am a child I'm a child of Aaron. I'm a child of Caleb. I'm one of the children of Joshua. My friend, that one does not work now. We're talking about redemption. We're talking about salvation. We're talking about freedom. We're talking about escaping hell. We're talking about getting to heaven. It is not a child of Moses, a child of Aaron. When I see the blood, when I see See the blood. I will pass over you. I'm the wife of the bishop. My sister, that one will not work. If anything is going to save you, it's the blood of Jesus. He shed his blood for you. He died for you. See him on the cross. See him as the father forsook him. He said, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Because he carried your sin. He shed his blood for you. And then on the final, on the final note, he said, it is finished. He finished all the condemnation. And he says, now you can believe. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That's why Jesus said, this is my blood which is shed for many for the remission, the removal, the redemption of many. For the freedom of many. And tonight that freedom has come. Whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Somebody there tonight, you will not miss your chance. I said somebody there tonight, you will not miss your salvation. I said somebody there tonight, you will not give an excuse. I am so and so, I am such and such. I told you that thing does not work. It's the blood. I said it's the blood. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood, and the blood, and the blood of Jesus Christ is on. Cleanses us from all sin. It is the blood of Jesus that cleanses and washes us from all our sin. And as we, as we trust him tonight, as we believe him tonight, I say, yes, I put my trust in that blood. I put my confidence in that blood. I put my total weight on that blood. I plead the blood that was shed for me to forgive me and to cleanse me and to save me. Salvation will come to you. I said salvation will come to you. I said salvation will come to you. Number two, thorough recovery. Thorough recovery. Let's look up there for a moment. There were about three 
million Israelites coming out of Egypt. Young and old. Men and women. And then they, they have been slaves. They were walking their fingers to the bone. They didn't have any time to rest. There was no resting day. There was no Sabbath day under Egypt. Under, under Pharaoh, the taskmasters were lashing them and whipping them and beating them. Talk about enslaved people. Talk of impoverished people. Talk of poor people. Talk of unhealthy environment. Talk of sick people. Everything was there. There was slavery. They were in sickness. They were in weakness. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You know that night, as they applied the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, brother, and then they stayed under the protection, the cover of the blood. See what the Bible says about them. In Psalm 105, Reading here from verse 37. Psalm 105, verse 37. He brought them forth, he brought them out. Somebody there, you are coming out tonight. I said you are coming out tonight. It's not that they brought themselves out. He brought them out. The one that has power. Ultimate power. Unlimited power. The God of heaven and earth. The God who created the whole universe. The God who can overcome Satan and evil spirits. The God who can conquer Pharaoh at one word. He, the Almighty, He brought them out. That Almighty is here tonight. Jehovah is His name. The Most High is His name. The I am that I am, that's His name. The Lord Almighty, He brought them out. Are you there? I'm looking for Him. I said, are you there? I'm looking for her. He, he, Ole. a power that passes every power, a power beyond every other power, he will bring you out tonight. Somebody there in captivity, you are coming out tonight in Jesus' name. Somebody there that is bedridden. You are coming out tonight in Jesus' name. Somebody there, they put insanity inside your brain. You are coming out tonight in Jesus' name. He brought them forth with silver and gold. Cancel poverty from your life. I said cancel poverty from your life. He's bringing you out of poverty. Out of slavery. Out of barrenness. Hey, miracle children are here tonight for you. Barrenness is going to be forgotten tonight. Are you hearing me over there? I said, are you hearing over there? He brings them out of poverty. Poverty, out of sickness, out of slavery, out of barrenness, out of oppression, out of the hand of the enemy. You have conquered tonight. Somebody there, you have conquered tonight. Look at this, and then it said, and there was no one feeble person among their tribes. There was no one sick among them. Men and women. Old and young. Low and high. No one sick among them. Because there was redemption from sin. 
There was recovery from sickness. Somebody is getting free tonight. Because the word of God says very well. In Isaiah chapter 53. Reading from verses 4 and 5. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 and 5. It's talking about the blood of the Lamb. And what the blood the Lamb has done for you. He tells us in verse 4, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God. God and afflicted. He's talking about Jesus. For he was wounded for a transgression. What does that mean? The crown of thorns wounded his head. And the blood came out. The nails wounded the hands. And the blood came out. The nails wounded the feet. And the blood came out. The spear wounded the side. And the blood came out. That's the blood for your salvation. That's the blood for your healing. That's the blood for your deliverance. He was wounded for a transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes. And with his stripes. And with his stripes. And with his stripes. What does that mean? They tied him to a pole. And then they had lashes in their hands. In those lashes, it had many branches. And they put pieces of bone and stone. And pieces of iron and glass. And they, and they did it with the twine, with the wheel. And as they put the lash upon him, on his back, on his side, the blood came out. And he says, The blood that came out of those tribes is for your recovery. And with his stripes, we are healed. It's the blood that heals us. Yes, we pray. It's the blood. Yes, we call upon him. It's the blood. Yes, we preach. But it's the blood. By his stripes, the stripes are already done. The things to give you healing recovery is already there. And tonight you are free. I'm talking to you there. I said tonight you are free. He is free. She is free. He is free there. She is free there. Everybody there, freedom. Everybody there said freedom. With a stripes, I am healed. Say it for yourself. I am healed. The blood that saves, the blood that heals, and that blood has not lost its power. When I see the blood tonight, God is saying, Cancer will pass over you, ulcer will pass over you, blindness will pass over you, paralysis will pass over you. Poverty will pass over you. If you believe, say Amen. Look at what the Word of God says. In First Peter chapter two, and in verse twenty-four, you cannot miss this. You cannot miss your miracle. It is here for you. I said it is here for you. First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-four. Who is own self? Bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By whose tribes we were healed. We were healed. That means it is done already. I said it is done already. And tonight, when you hear the final amen, amen means so it is. I said you are healed. 
you say, amen, that means, you say, yes, pastor, so it is. I said, cancer is gone. You say, amen, so it is. I said, dryness is gone. You say amen, so it is. I said with his stripes, you were healed. The pile is healed. That blindness is healed. That HIV AIDS is healed. That premature death is taken away. Number one, total redemption. Number two, thorough recovery. Number three, truthful rejection of Satan. Some people, they don't understand. Satan is not your friend. Satan does not befriend anybody. Did you see the picture of Satan in Pharaoh? Pharaoh had no friend. Did you see the picture of Satan in Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar had no friend. If he had a dream. And he said, magicians come, interpret my dream. If they said, we cannot. I burn you, your houses down. I burn your businesses down. I will kill you and destroy you. Even Daniel, who had been helping him, they were looking for him. They said, Nebuchadnezzar said, kill everybody. Nebuchadnezzar had no friend. Herod doesn't have any friend. You know, John the Baptist had been going to him. He been speaking to him. Is that John the Baptist? Come on here. What do you tell me today? The Bible says he had him and he had him with joy. But one day, when John the Baptist said, uh, Herod, it is not good for you to have taken your brother's wife. And Herod showed his true color. Because those representatives of Satan had no friend. Satan has no friend. He is not your friend. But there is somebody. There is somebody. His name is Jesus. The friend of sinners. The friend of those who are falling. The friend of those who are backsliding. And the friend of those who are sick. And the friend of those who are sorrowful. Jesus is your friend. I'm talking to somebody there tonight. I said Jesus is your friend. He will save your soul. He will heal your body. He will deliver you. All that power of Satan will go away in Jesus name. Some, pe some people don't understand in this our land. You know what they say? They say, if you cannot beat them, join them. What they mean, what they mean is this. Satan and the evil spirits are fighting against them. They have tried and tried and tried. And Satan said, I will finish you. No matter where you go. No matter what you do. You go to herbalist. You go to traditional healer. I will finish you. And so they say, since I cannot confront Satan, I cannot, I cannot fight with him. If you cannot beat them, join them. Okay. And they surrender their lives. And they make covenant. They say, Satan, I will serve you. I'll be your slave. I'll be your servant. I'll be following you anywhere. That's why they join a cult, you see. That's why they join idolatry. That's why they do tradition. That's why they get halves together. You can't, you can't beat them, join them. Even if you join the gang and the criminals of Satan, he's still your enemy. He doesn't spare anyone. But Jesus Christ, 
The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that has power. The blood that has authority. Tonight, tonight. Somebody there. I said tonight, tonight, the blood of Jesus will deliver you completely. But there must be, there must be, there must be a truthful rejection of Satan. All the charms of Satan, you throw them away. All the Jiju ring of Satan, you throw them away. All the waste band from Satan, you throw them away. All the charcoal that you mark on your body, you reject them. All the covenant you make with Satan, you reject that. And it's a truthful rejection. Is it, if there's any regard here of Satan, any clothes of Satan, any symbol of Satan, anything you hang on your on your neck with Satan, anything that binds you with Satan, if there is a truthful rejection of Satan, you reject him. After all, it's not doing any good in your life. I, mean, you say, I reject Satan. I come to Christ my Savior. Salvation will come. Somebody there says salvation will come. Deliverance will come. And then healing will come. Look at what, how they did it. Acts of the Apostle chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 18. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. And many of them also which used curious acts brought their books together and bunch them before all men. All those times you throw them away. As you get back to your house, you clear your house of all the charms of the devil. The boots and the talisman, you throw them away, you burn them. The clothes you got from the dark, from parts of darkness, you throw them away, you burn them. Anything, any symbol. That marks the covenant you made with the dark powers. You burn them. The title you have. Any any title. Any That compels you to be worshiping idol. You worship Satan here. You live with Satan in hell forever and ever. If you love your soul, you love your life. And you don't want to spend eternity in hellfire. You tell Satan, take your title, take your regalia, take your position, take the money you're giving me. I reject everything. You reject Satan in his totality. And you give yourself to Jesus completely. You brought their books together and bond them. And they counted the price of them and found each 50 pieces of silver. And then, wonderful. I said wonderful wonders. Wonder of all wonders. When you reject Satan like that, look at Revelation chapter 12. The final victory has now come. Am I talking to somebody here today? Your final victory has now come. Revelation chapter 12. Look at verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out that old, that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceives the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him those evil spirits will be cast out from your life tonight but there must be a truthful rejection of Satan. Verse 11. 
and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. It is the blood that overcomes sin. It is the blood that overcomes sickness. It is the blood that overcomes Satan. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And he loved not their lives unto the dead. Yes. They love not their lives unto the day. Satan had threatened them. You have a covenant with me. If you make, if you break that covenant, you will die. And then the people who have been in that covenant before. Take care. If you break that covenant, you will die. I want to tell you tonight, Jesus is more powerful than Satan. And the covenant you make with Jesus tonight is greater than the covenant of Satan. And if they are threatening you, and they are saying you will die, they lock not their lives unto the dead. I, I will not die. I will not die. I believe in Jesus, I will not die. Jesus is my savior, I will not die. Jesus is my healer, I will not die. Jesus is my redeemer, I will not die. You overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Overcame Satan by the blood of the lamb. Tonight, victory is here by the blood of Jesus. Victory over sin, victory over sickness, and victory over Satan is coming your way. What are you? I said it's coming your way. What are you? I said it's coming your way. Salvation is available for you tonight. Healing available for you tonight. Deliverance available for you tonight. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Don't, don't stand up. Are you ready? Don't stand up. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. Are you ready? Heads bowed and eyes closed. I'm talking to you now directly. You want to be free from your sin. You want to trust in the blood of Jesus Christ that brings salvation. You want the almighty God to say, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You want to trust in that blood right now. Anywhere you are, you will raise up your hand. You say, yes, Lord, I am here. Yes, Lord, I am here. I believe. I believe. I believe the blood of Jesus was shed for me. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand and you are going to reject Satan, reject his covenant, reject idolatry, and throw away all that sin, and come to Jesus tonight, and believe in Jesus tonight, as you are raising up your hand, you will stand up, you say, Lord, it's me, Lord, it's me, Lord, it's me, Lord, it's me, you will stand up if you are raising up your hand, salvation is mine, salvation is mine, Mine. Salvation is mine. Salvation is mine. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You will not die a hellish death. You will not die and go to hell. Heaven's gate will be open for you. Because the blood of Jesus cleanses you and washes you whiter than snow. While you are standing, tell the Lord right there. I confess my sin. Lord, I am sorry. For all the bad things I've done, all the bad places I've gone, all the crimes I've committed, 
All the evil in my hand. Lord, I drop them. I trust in the blood of Jesus to forgive me, to change my life, and to redeem me. Tonight I believe. Tonight I believe. Tonight I believe. Jesus is my Savior. I surrender my heart unto him tonight. I surrender my will unto him tonight. Jesus save me now. Jesus save me now. Jesus save me now. And give me the grace to live in newness of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am saved. Everybody say amen. Keep on standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all these men and women, boys and girls that have come to Jesus tonight that realize that the blood of Jesus brings salvation. I pray, Lord, tonight, take all their sins away. Let judgment pass over them. Condemnation pass over them. Damnation pass over them. Eternal death pass over them. Give them your salvation right now. Give them the joy of salvation and the victory in salvation. Grant unto everyone now. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. I am saved. I am saved. Say it for yourself. I am saved. I am saved. I want you to remember the blood of Jesus cancels every sickness in your life. Tonight that miracle is coming your way. You will stand up as we pray. You want to receive you want to have it you want the hand of the Lord to touch you it's coming your way right now when I see the blood when I see the blood when I see the blood I will pass I will pass over you death will pass over you premature death will pass over you sickness which is the forerunner of death will pass over you Tonight, your healing is here. When we we'll finish the prayer, I will say, in Jesus' name, we pray. And you hear that final amen. You check up your body, you'll find that you have been healed. The blind eyes have opened. The deaf ears have opened. The weak legs are now strong. The pain of the waist is gone. The cancer is gone. Final amen. And it is done. If you need that miracle and healing, you raise up your hand. It's coming your way right Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you are the great I am. The unchangeable God. The one that remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you have shown us very clearly that the blood of Jesus Christ grants us total redemption from sin, from sickness, from Satan. Lord, I come on behalf of your people. Right now, I pray, send forth your power in Jesus' name. That insanity in the brain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Madness, come out in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that swelling. The swelling on that breast, I command right now. That cancer in that place, I command right now. Come out, be healed in Jesus' name. 
any swelling, any part of your body. May any be healed in Jesus' name. Any swelling there, come out in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Cough, be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma be healed in Jesus name. I'll be healed in Jesus name. That is your blood dry upright now in Jesus name. That impotence there be healed in Jesus name. So since walking about in the body, evil spirit, I command you come out in Jesus' name. The pains of arthritis on your joints. I command those pains any part of the body. Come out in Jesus' name. Your weak legs are now strong. Your weak hands are now strong. Your bent back is now stretching. You can rise up, walk, stand in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are late. I command the paralysis will vanish away in Jesus' name. Polio be healed in Jesus' name. That one leg shorter than the other, I command the short leg to grow out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are blind. I pray the Lord will touch your blind eyes right now. Darkness vanish away. Blindness vanish away. Receive your sight in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears open up in Jesus' name. Begin to hear. Begin to speak. Miracle upon your life. Lord, I pray for everyone now. Everyone without exception. To the right, to the left, to the back, to the center, to the front. Anywhere you hear the voice right now, let that healing come upon you. Let your miracle come upon you. Let your deliverance come upon you. Receive in Jesus' name. Confirm your healing in everyone. Confirm your miracle in everyone. Confirm that deliverance in everyone. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is now. In Jesus' name I pray. It is now. I said it is now. I said it is now. That can set us free from our sins. There is nothing that can set us free from our predicament but the blood of Jesus. Lord, if not for your blood, if not that you died for us on the cross of Calvary, we would all have been, have been dead in our transgressions. Father, so helpless we were. Like a goat taken to be, to, the, to be slaughtered, so we were. We were unable to save ourselves. The devil had us banned, since had us banned. Our parents couldn't help us. We couldn't help ourselves. But you look unto us, and you had mercy. You sent your son to die for us that we might be saved. He was bruised for iniquity. And by the stripes, oh Lord, we are made whole. For now we accept that sacrifice. Lord, we accept that blood. For whatsoever be that thing in our lives, oh God, that has not yet been taken away. Whatsoever be that thing, oh God, that is still an, an hindrance in our lives father we plead the blood of jesus we apply the blood of jesus let it wash away anything that is not of god in our lives father we are the light of the world for every darkness in our lives 
let your light shine forth. Amen. Any place, oh God, that we have been rejected before, but by the reason of the blood of Jesus, we will be accepted. Amen. Any area that we have failed before, by the reason of the blood of Jesus, we will make success. Any area, oh God, that we have been experiencing limitation and stagnancy, by the blood of Jesus, we are going higher. Amen. Every door that is being closed, oh God, by the blood of Jesus, the doors are open in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the power to soar higher, the power to remain in your plan, the power to remain in your will, give it to wrath now in the name of Jesus. Amen. For as we go, we are not living your presence. Lord, the blood of Jesus will speak for us. The blood of Jesus will speak against every enemy, oh God, contending against our success, contending against our salvation, contending against our families. For I go before and after us. Your blood will speak for us in our academics, in our business, in our families, in our prayer lives. Let your blood speak for us. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say to your neighbor, the blood of Jesus will speak for you.